intimate photos were hacked of Kendall and Harry Styles together. Ooh, Zayn reveals what he wasn't allowed to do in 1D and talks people having sex to his music. Okay, and Justin Bieber posts another photo with Selena Gomez. Another one, all that and more on today's Rundown. So we have new Ariana Grande music today. Woo, so much music, lots of news too, but first we gotta talk about Justin Bieber posting another throwback of Selena. What? All right guys, Justin Bieber posted another throwback pic of him and Selena. This time they are kissing and it's young Jay Biebs and Selena. He's um, pre a lot of his tattoos, which is interesting. But the internet went wild. He captioned the photo feels and his 62.2 million Instagram followers, including myself. Aaron, do you follow him? Um, I do follow him, but I actually got a tweet from a fan about this who I, I sent it to me, she's like, is this real? I looked it up, I was so upset about it. Well, it got 2.7 million likes, so not everyone was upset. <laughs> well, I didn't like it, for the record. <laughs> well, Selena did like it, and people are even saying that she commented, um, saying perfect, but sometimes those are contrived, so Photoshop. it hasn't been proven authentic yet, but it might be, which is pretty crazy. So we have some Zayn updates. Mm. I'm gonna start this off with some sad news. Get your tissues ready, guys. Gigi Hadid, who is Zayn's girlfriend, she posted a photo to say farewell to her little cat, Chub. This photo she posted shows Zayn snuggling with her cat as he kisses her cheek, and it just is, I got all up in my feels, and the caption was, we love you always, Chubb, and Zayn retweeted the photo. I'm getting teary talking about it. But in other more happy Zayn news today, he did this interview with Complex. By the way, he's going to be in their April, May issue, and there's this behind the scenes video of him, but inside the interview, he opens up a lot about why he felt so limited by being in One Direction. He said, quote, there were certain restrictions in terms of the way that we could come outside of that young teen boy look, mainly my beard, honestly. I wasn't allowed to keep it. Eventually, when I got older, I rebelled against it and decided to keep it anyway. I also wanted to dye my hair when I was in the band, but it wasn't allowed. Also, he said like he was denying the authenticity of who he was, and that went for himself and musically as well. He felt like he couldn't really express who he was. Also, that Pillow Talk music video with Gigi Hadid, you guys, apparently they improv the whole thing together. Zayn said they weren't even directed or anything, saying, we were just messing around. It wasn't even like part of the shoot, you know, when they say, oh, action. They didn't do that. It was just rolling. So what you saw was raw, unfiltered passion between these <laughs> two. But to me, that says you got real authentic. Yeah, So he fought inauthenticity with authenticity in that music video. But surprisingly, one thing I learned is Zayn is trying to separate his personal love life with Gigi from his music career, saying, I try to keep the two very separate. I try to as much as I can, but there's only so much you can do. I'm learning to deal with it. Ariana Grande released a new acapella version of her song, Dangerous Woman, and she's wearing a latex suit with bunny ears while she performs it. And it is so good, I don't care what she's wearing. Check it out. Something about you makes me feel like a dangerous woman. Something about, something about, something about you. She also scats over where the guitar solo usually is, and it's very cool. In other Ari news, she released a preview of her single with Lil Wayne titled Let Me Love You which is also one of my favorite Mario song titles, but I'll let it slide. <laughs> and um, we don't hear Wheezy in this clip, but we do hear her singing about a breakup. I just broke up with my ex. Now I'm out of single, I don't really know what's next. But I ain't even tripping, I'm a jealous and back. Aside from Wayne, she also revealed that Macy Gray, Nicki Minaj, and Future would be featured on her album, which is due later this year. I'm very excited for this one. Fun fact, I also scat when I mess up here. I'll just remix it. <laughs> Thank you. So another day in Hollywood means there's probably another leak, and mm. that is the case today. It's really sad, actually. So Harry Styles' mom, and her iCloud was hacked this weekend. They garnered these photos from her phone of Harry and Kendall vacationing together in St. Bart's. This is back in the new year uh, several months ago. 
Now we also have photos of these two together, the paparazzi shot of them on this yacht together. They looked cozy and definitely flirty and definitely dating. Um, but these photos that hit the web are of them kind of really cuddling together. I mean, the photos of them are like this. And um, you know they're very they're very lovey dovey and I yeah. think Kendall is straddling Harry and he's kind of like looking towards her. It's really cute. Um, and they're these, private though. They're private. Moments. They are private. There was nothing sexual about them or something that we wouldn't expect to see. But the fact that someone broke into his mom's iCloud account is real shady. So Anne's iCloud was trending online, and the Twitter account that leaked these photos just posted literally just hacked Anne, which is like this isn't cool. I mean, I feel like. We've seen this happen before. I think that you, when you back you up, some, I don't do iCloud by the way, people get so mad at me. They're like, I can't believe you're not on iCloud. I'm like, no, I know what people hack, how they hack. And it doesn't even have to be sexual or weird photos, it's just intimate photos that you don't They're want just to yours. share with the yeah. world. Exactly, so I feel really bad that this happened, but um, yeah. No, you're right, it feels like a real invasion. You feel like, Someone robbed you, kind of. You yeah, know? yeah. And we're not showing the photos, um, mostly because it's illegal, but also because we don't want to perpetuate this anymore. I, I don't want to support hackers. Yeah. What the f, Justin Bieber? Why are you posting more <laughs> photos of Selena? And Selena, girl, why are you liking them? Are you together now? I'm so confused and passionate and very Ooh. I've been talking about this for years <laughs> I dream of the day that I don't have to talk about just a Bieber or Selena Gomez if they're dating or not yeah seriously so passionate so what do you guys think about that right yes yes and please <laughs> What do you think? <laughs> and also, Ariana Grande's new song, her acapella version of Dangerous Woman, we are obsessed with it, but are you? We want to know all your thoughts. Let's talk about it, guys. Also, let's talk about it on the social needs. I'm on Instagram and Twitter at Hey Aaron Robinson. This pretty girl right here, she's Danielle Robay, and that's you yeah, everywhere, right? Yeah. Yeah. And we're also on Snapchat, so let's hang out, guys. We're Love also you. really weird. You might see my rat tail on it on Aaron. <laughs> you will see. Danielle has a rat tail today. Go check it out and screenshot it and tag her in it on um, Instagram. Oh my god, that's so mean! She would love that. <laughs> Thanks guys for watching the Daily Hollywood Rundown. <laughs> we'll see you back here tomorrow. Zane just dropped five new song teasers in that box on the left and on the right. Adele, poor thing, breaks down during a show in London and it's real sad.